Stay tuned to learn this interesting but simple animation on our channel Think Sci Fi. Select cube and go to geometry node. Click new and remove group input. Add icosphere and connect it with group output. Increase subdivision and radius. Add mesh boolean by pressing shift A in between. Make a duplicate of Iquisphere by pressing shift D and connect it with mesh 2. Decrease radius and subdivision. Add transform to second Iquisphere by pressing shift A. Play with X, Y and Z for best result. Add instance on point between mesh boolean and group output. Make one more duplicate of icosphere by pressing shift D. Reduce the radius to 0.1 and increase subdivision to 6 then connect it with instance. Connect transform node between instance on point and group output. and move the object on Z axis. This is what we are looking for. Now come back to the layout. Press 3 for side view. Then press Ctrl Alt and 0 to set the camera on the view. Decrease the focal length of camera and adjust the X location. Press 7 for top view and add a plane to the scene. Now increase the plane by 10 and adjust it on X axis. Scale it on only Y axis so that it can cover the whole camera. Now press tab key for edit mode and select edge select mode then click on last edge then press E Z to extrude it on Z axis. Press tab again for come back to the object mode. Now go to the modifier tab and add bevel modifier. Give a segment of 64 and amount of 0.5. Go to the material view and check scene light and scene world. This will look almost like what you see in render. Select the point light and set it inside the sphere. This point light will play the most important role in this scene. Now we will add three aerial light to this scene. One on the top and two on the back and front side. Play with the power of the aerial light. It's all depend on your scene what's look good. I choose 250 on the top light and 250 on the back light and 300 on the front aerial light. To assign material to the sphere, go to the geometry node, 
and add material on the material tab and give it a name then connect set material in the geometry node and select the material on it go to the setting tab and select scene world and scene light select color of your choice and increase metallic and decrease roughness little bit select the background and click new then select color and give and increase metallic little bit play with world color according to your scene i will render it in cycles but you can use ev also to save it in ev select all the three option mp ambient occlusion boolean and screen express reflection or you can choose motion blur also select your location select ff mpeg video in file format then choose mpeg4 then select any of the three then render render animation but before rendering we have to do the animation part i go to the cycle select gpu if your pc support it then choose 32 in you put maximum sampling and 64 in render maximum sampling play with the world color strength for better result go to this geometry node and select the sphere add the timeline and in transform 1 increase the scale value until the sphere get disappear in my case it is disappearing in 3.95 at frame 1 enter keyframe on the scale of transform 1 then go to frame 50 decrease the scale value to 1.2 and insert keyframe then go to the second transform rotation part at frame 50 enter keyframe go to last frame of the timeline play with the rotation value of x y and z then insert keyframe come back to the layout and do the render image to see whether every whether everything is correct or not render your best frame then go to the composition and click use node add viewer here and connect it with image click shift and click your right mouse key for joining the both add glare in between and play with all the settings for best result i am choosing fog ghost then come back to the layout and do render image one more time now it's time to render it i prefer to render it as a png sequence for that choose a folder then select png in file format then render render animation it will take a time to render all the 250 frame one by one and to save it direct as a video select the folder then follow the steps don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching and if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment section